everyone, welcome to IndoorSkydivingTips.com. My name is Henry and today this is going to be the second part we're talking about fall rates. In the first video we were talking about decreasing your fall rate or going up in the tunnel. Today we're going to be talking about the opposite, how to go down or how to increase your fall rate. So just like an AFF, just like when you're learning the fundamentals of flying, uh, the way you want to increase your fall rate or go down if you're inside the tunnel is by arching your back. So, and it makes sense. If we have a flat line here, all this wind is catching our body, but if we change the orientation, then not so much of that is actually going to hit our body and we're going to fall faster and increase our, um, and increase the descent inside the tunnel. So that's the most common, the most basic way that people increase their fall rates. Another way that is also a popular way to go down is actually called the mantis position. Now the reason it's called the mantis position is because when you, your arms are out, you're gonna bring them together and bring your elbows down so then your elbows as well as your knees are gonna be slicing through the wind so not so much of that wind is catching your arms as well as your legs. So like in the normal flying position, you're spread out with your arms, wind's catching your legs, wind's catching your arms, wind's catching your torso right here. But in the mantis position, you still have your torso right here, but you're bringing your legs together. So bringing legs together and then bending your legs so you cut through the wind that way. And then it's the same thing with your arms as well. So arms go from here, closer together, going down, down, down. Basically, you're just minimizing the surface area of your body um, to increase your fall rate or to drop down inside the tunnel. Some people prefer the arch, some people prefer the mantis. I personally like a little bit of both. Um, it just depends on what I'm trying to do. Uh, I find that in the mantis position, you can drop a lot faster because you're just minimizing the surface area on your excuse me, on your arms and legs. Uh, whereas in the arch position, it just makes for easier way to change levels. So increasing your fall rate, just arching that back more makes it nice and smooth. But if you try to rapidly descend, that's when I bring my arms in, my legs go in, and that's when you notice an increased fall rate. Um, that's better than the arch. So it, everybody's different. You might be an arch person, a more experienced skydiver might understand the fundamentals of Mantis. So whether you're a new skydiver, this is probably for most new skydivers, especially the Mantis position, I'd recommend trying that out with some people in the sky, or if you're inside the tunnel, play around with that, see which way you like. If you like the arch, cool. If you like getting into Mantis position to increase your fall rate or go down in the tunnel, I'd recommend that one too. So what do you guys think? Are you more arch, arching your back when you're trying to increase your fall rate or uh, drop in the tunnel? Or do you like that Mantis position? Let me know in the comments below. Of course, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. Always looking for great ideas for uh, next upcoming video, uh, which is gonna be more video breakdowns. So definitely look forward to that. Uh, let me know what you think of this whiteboard thing. Should I continue with it? Should I let it go? Is it cool? It's not. Help me uh, out and what you want to see. That way I can get you content um, that's more relevant. So thanks so much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. See you next week. Bye.